17th of January 2019. This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart. It's about uh, an hour or so before the event will open to the public, so people are cleaning up and uh, from the previous day are getting ready for the uh, onslaught of uh, visitors. Uh, this is the Sun I 900 van from Knaus, as you can see. In this version, it's got a twin axle at the back. And in that one, it's got one axle at the back. So, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at both of them and then make a comparison. So, going around the outside, you've got your storage, you've got yeah, there's your toilet, there's your garage, and uh, And there's a look at it from this angle. Big garage, enormous garage. Let's get some details of it. There you go. Well, that's the kickoff is 106, and this in this condition, 106 and a half, 133 nearly, thousand euros. Right, let's have a look. Chassis Fiat, 130 uh, horsepower. It's 882 centimeters long, 234 wide. Uh, internal uh, width is a 218, uh, external height 294, internal height 2 meters, and uh, ready to go, be driven off. It's uh, uh, 3,950, okay, completely empty weight, 3,760. You can put in a five or five and a half ton basis, both cases, well, one case one ton, and one and a half tons of payloads. You can get a lot in there. You will, of course, uh, find it somewhat difficult to park. I'll have a look down here as well. Look at the uh, storage of this side, which is under a chair. And then you can see through the other side shows the depth of the double floor. So let's come up inside. I have said some nasty things in the past, such as calling this, um, what was that called? I forgot, some nightclub in Moscow in the 1990s. Uh, it, had that, it, it, it looked that way to me, um, for my taste. I mean, the, the colourings here are far too dark, but that's what people want in Germany, and you give the public what they want. There you are, soft close function. Let's have a look inside first. I think you'd probably do without that parcel shelf. Oh, oh is that the right word? Shelf uh, in there. It sort of lessens the amount of stuff you can actually carry. Good point. Think ledge there to stop things falling out. And as you can see, it's soft close. Enormous bed here above the uh, driving position. And then you can have a look down there and see the engine. Now people often complain, Fiat, and I think it's people who haven't driven them who complain about them. Uh, admittedly I prefer Mercedes, but that would uh, add a considerable amount onto the cost. But uh, there's nothing wrong with the Fiat engine, in my opinion. It's very light, lighter than Mercedes. At least it feels that like when you're driving it. I think the lighting though looks fantastic. Anyway, it's right down what you think. I've got a lot of information about Knaus uh, and their products on my website, motorhomefulltime.com. Now, one point I really do want to point out is the way that this chair is here. Look at the amount of support you're getting over there. Uh, very comfortable position for seating. Superb, really. I mean, how many people have got such a good seats in the houses or flats at home? This is the home, right? Um, okay, kitchen deep, as you'd expect in a van like this. Um, sink.
Okay, this is not a particularly deep drawer, but the bottom one is. Ah, see the problem over here. These things here, I've got. Uh, I I did the same mistake, but you particularly you got food in there or clothing, uh, which, uh, the, uh, which falls out. Whereas food, you get spice packets and sort of gets stuck down the back. This is this is experience talking. I shouldn't have done them like this. I should have had the the wall completely up. And canals should do the same thing. Not got a higher wall, but still, it's not high enough. I like these features whereby the uh, this has been recessed. I think that looks great, particularly the bottom one with a bit of lighting. Sorry, my gimbal is playing up. I don't know why. Fetford oven, gas, fridge it is from Dometic. Um, opinions about these glass holders are uh, varied. Oh, this is a control panel up here. So you can see your temperature, you can fix, and your electrics, you want to turn the 12 volt off or something. You can see what's going on inside the van. Personally, I don't want a cover on something like that. I like that to uh, be without a cover, but again, you know, depends what you like. Uh, this carpet is down here for the point of the fair. I point out, I don't think it looks good at all. Um, on the other hand, uh, if you're going to places where you might be dragging in grit and sun, sand and all sorts of things, then you may, you may want to leave it in. It's just easier to clean. Right, dressing room. Dressing room in the van. You plenty of space there for your clothes. You've got the toilet here. And here we have a shower next to it. Again, you would you'd probably get a proper duckboard rather than that. Now, if somebody's sleeping up front and somebody's here, you can actually close the doors to the toilet. One of the problems with uh, a van um, of this shape is the standing height. Look, there's me. You can see I'm crouched. There, 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 look. In the mirror. So, um, So that might be something you want to consider. You've got to be reasonably nimble. Um, another thing you might find in this is that this is a bit claustrophobic, uh, which is one of the reasons why I would put up there a much bigger skylight if I were doing this. I mean, of course, you've got big windows at both sides, and. Um, they see how the door closes at that end, so if somebody's using the toilet while you're in this part of the van, you will, uh, well, you'll know if it, well, the door, once the door's closed. It is only a van, of course, you can't expect uh, too, too much uh, privacy, particularly if you're trying to get four people travelling in what is effectively, what, about 18 square metres, something like that, or well, even less because the engine's up there front. Let's close this door behind me. Let's give you an idea of what the living accommodation looks like. Let's say it's not a complete door, as you can see, there's a gap up there, which I think is. Fair enough. Good idea. Let's go and see some other vans. So now here, this one you might recall was on two uh, two axles in total, not and not three. Start of ninety thousand, cost one hundred and eleven plus. Got 
the same sort of chair there. But this one here doesn't have that changing room as such, or so you can make this bit into a changing room, but it doesn't have all that space at the back. And it does have this great panoramic skylight. No lockers as such at the top. You can stuff some bedding or something down there, pillows or you know, so yeah, put it there like that. Okay, so that's the sun. I, this is the LEG version. If that appeals to you, then uh, let me know. Personally, I uh, wouldn't want it, it's too big. Even, sorry, even if, even if somebody gave it to me, well, sorry, somebody gave it's different, but I mean, somebody said if I could live in any van I wanted, but, but I had to live in it, I had to stay in it, no, but I could take what I wanted. Uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been this one. There's the gas. Ja, das ist eine Katastrophe.